rest in peace. Hey guys, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Welcome back, it's Instructor Smiley. Today we're gonna to be talking about a product that I am super, super excited to review. I've been dying to make this review and I've now collected enough data to actually produce and give you guys a review. So thank you guys again for clicking the video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Leisure Carries Clip-On Belt. All right, so the clip-on belt is a phenomenal device that allows you to carry in a plethora of different materials and styles now today. But let's go ahead and bring it back to explain to you how this product came to me. So shout out to Ron Barnes, he's the owner of Leisure Carry. In March, I believe he reached out to me and requested that I review his product. Um, he had seen that I was doing stuff kind of in this area with Carry Concealed. Uh, recently, I had just released the Neo Mag alias video and my initial video on that was kind of in his lane. So thank you, Ron, for reaching out. I'm super happy you did. This product's amazing and we're gonna talk about it here today. So let's jump into it. I get back in March from a destination I was at and I received the clip-on belt. Initially, I was extremely weary about this product. I was like, uh, it's a belt, it clips on. Like, uh, it was too simple for my brain to wrap around. As you know, a lot of the other, um, I guess you would say, not competitors, but devices, objects in this realm of carrying concealed in these newer aged materials are a little bit more complex. You have the Comfort Carry, I believe it's called, belt that has that rubber inside. You can kind of use it as a belt. You have the Neo Mag Alias beltless system. And then a lot of people just take their regular EDC belt, wrap it in their shorts and use it like that. So for something this simple, I was real nervous to see how it would work. Um, my mind was blown once I used it. So this belt right here is made out of uh, biothane. If you're not sure what biothane is, it's commonly used in dog leashes. Um, if you guys get a chance, go ahead and check out Leisure Carry and, and you can listen to Ron explain his idea, his thought process and how he came up with this material. Uh, long story short, it's durable. It works. It's water resistant. It's all this Gucci stuff that you can comprise into this product that is amazing. Um, so initially I said, all right, let me start with something small. That's kind of how I did everything else. I find uh, one of my smaller guns, something that I'm willing to EDC every day and start with that. So like I mentioned, this device is used for regular or not regular, not regular pants. So if you're carrying in pants, cargo pants, anything with belt loops is typically easy to carry. You find a really good EDC belt and you're good to go. When it comes to carrying in sweatpants, joggers, sweat shorts, basketball shorts, any of the sort, anything athletic wear that doesn't have that rigid or that tough material that jeans brings, it's actually difficult to carry because a lot of the pistols and modern day holsters kind of drag down the front of your waistband and it allows more printing and doesn't really help you maintain or keep that positive control of your weapon up and close to your body. So that was kind of my main goal whenever I do carry in clothes that aren't jeans is to make sure that my gun is concealed correctly, I'm not printing as much because printing is inevitable, and that I'm comfortable all in all. So the very first thing I started out with was my 365 XL. Um, if you've not been paying attention, this is what I'm carrying now. It's a macro grip, F death slide, so on and so forth. Um, it's a small to medium sized gun. It works. So initially I said, all right, let's try this. Clipped it on, walked out in it. First day was phenomenal. I was like, all right, this is nice. I carried it like that for about a week and realized this is probably the most comfortable way I've ever carried in my life uh, in regards to basketball pants or basketball shorts, sweat shorts, the whole genre of lighter materials was the best I've ever carried. I wasn't printing, I wasn't constantly adjusting, I was not having difficulty, I was bending over fine. All of the above, when you go ahead and try and dissect every issue you possibly or potentially have had before with carrying in those styles, I haven't had, I didn't have once. And this is me just carrying my 365. I carry it in a tier one holster. It's a Glock 48 holster. A lot of people ask about it. Um, there's two points of contact and I was fine. Um, so 
I think it was like three weeks later, I said, okay, let me step it up. Let's see what else I can carry. Um, I had seen a video of Ron posting him carrying his Glock 19 in those shorts. Uh, Glock 19 is a full size handgun if you didn't know. I was impressed by that. I said, okay, he's doing it. Um, let me give it a try. So I decided to carry my staccato. It went great. I was super surprised at this point. And I'm carrying in, um, they look like swim trunks. They're very light material. Um, but one thing that you guys have to notice with these systems that I have dissected. Having a drawstring is going to be your number one factor. Um, I did try and carry this in a pair of joggers I have that does not have a drawstring. It is just a button and a waistband. And it was better than some of the other ones I've tried, but still a lot less um, sturdy, I guess you would say. It didn't hold the weapon like I needed it to. Uh, I did have to adjust a couple of times. So if you're carrying in something that does not have a drawstring, you are already doing it wrong. This is dependent on a drawstring in my opinion. I have carried it in other stuff without a drawstring. It does not do what it needs to do. It needs that drawstring support. If you have a drawstring, you're fine. You can carry it in thick drawstring, small drawstring, skinny drawstring. As long as you have a drawstring to tighten it with, you're good to go. Now, as you can see, mine is starting to wear. It's starting to develop a shape. What does that shape look like? Round. Why? Because I'm round. It is shaping to my body which is another amazing thing to think about. When you think about how you carry and things creating that muscle memory, the biothane clip-on belt actually forms to your body. So now when I place it on with a holster, I don't have to worry about adjusting it because it's conforming to my body. Again, keeping printing lower and my gun more concealable. Attached with that jawstring on there makes it easier. But let's go ahead and talk about the test. So here, this is the test I've developed where I go ahead, I put the gun on and I use the clip on belt and a multiple different, um, not genres, but pants. I carry it or I show you guys clips in pants and shorts and sweat shorts and joggers, all the above. And I show you how sturdy it is. So first let's go ahead and start with the joggers. So this set of joggers does have jawstrings on it. Um, this is what I have also tried other tests in. And as you can see, it works very well. I jump in it, I twist in it. I kind of gyrate to go ahead and create motion. It doesn't move and it also conceals very well. Next, you have basketball shorts. Um, these basketball shorts are a little bit lighter than your typical ones, but again, they do have a drawstring. With the drawstring and everything tied, again, it's not moving. It holds its position well, it tucks very well. The clip-on, um, the ulti clips make a very good job and do very well at making sure that it's not moving at all. Um, another tip that I did have that I think works very well is you have two points of contact on both sides with the ulti clip, as you can see here. If you're running a rig like me where you have two points of contact on your holster, I did find that it helps a lot if you bring these clips over the ulti clip and the pant material. So your holster clips are clipping to the pants and the ulti clip onto the, or the pants and the clip on belt onto the ulti clip onto your body. So I think that helped a lot. Um, and it's something that you'll see me doing here in every video. So next is gonna be the joggers without the drawstring. As you can see, the waistband on these joggers is just not enough to keep it up. You will see a lot of movement in the leisure carry belt and on the holster in the movement. So again, I don't suggest this. Here are a pair of sweat shorts that I carry in a lot. Again, has a nice jawstring, very thick waistband. So as it's moving around, you don't see the gun moving at all. And lastly, you have a pair of athletic sweat pants. The sweatpants material is light, but again, the common denominator, it has a drawstring. With the drawstring, you do not see any movement at all. Um, this belt is easily one of the best pieces of kit or gear that I own. Um, it costs $55, I believe it's 65 MSRP, um, but there is a code, it's gonna be parallel five to save you guys some change off of that. But besides the price, besides the code, this belt is it. This is him. This belt is phenomenal. If you're a person that loves to carry in basketball shorts, that doesn't like to put jeans on all the time, this was literally designed for you. It makes carrying very easy. You don't have to worry about any of the variables and you can use it with any platform. Again, I've carried everything from my 365 to my staccato. That is a micro compact to a full size pistol. I've concealed it with no issues at all. So this belt is, is great. Uh, thank you, Ron. He did send this to me. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to keep running this. I'm going on vacation this week. I'm super excited to carry this there. Very easy to pack. You throw it in with everything else. You call it a day. Doesn't need any extra tools. And the cool thing about it is it's somewhat universal. I don't need to keep buying attachments for every holster I have. I buy the holster. I ensure the holster has clips. I'm good to go. One and one is there. So there you guys have it. That is my review and my opinions on the clip-on belt from Leisure Carry. I appreciate you guys for watching. Again, please like, 
comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you guys want to support the channel, um, please go ahead and check out everybody that supports me. I will leave them below. These guys under here make sure that this channel keeps running smoothly and they do a great job at it. Again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.